others chose to become speakers. And today is a very special day because fate has given me the audience I've always wanted to have. You see, I am the crown prince of the Angulia kingdom. This is how handsome we unapologetically. And today, I want to speak because I've had an opportunity to speak about something that has had and paid me for, for a very long time. You know, I am Angolia, a little known sub ethnic group of the Akamba tribe. Little known. A very disenfranchised people. A very demeaned people. But I am proud because of the DNA my mother gave me. I am unapologetically Angolian and I want to speak. You see, if I don't speak, you may never know what really hurts me. Because if I ask anybody here, they will have a funny thing to say about the Angolia people. But I find this a very important opportunity for me to speak about my people. You know, the Angolia people are the indigenous inhabitants of Kekumbulu. Kekumbulu it was to be called and we currently call the Savo Conservants. And it is important for me to speak these words. Because Kekumbulu is not what you know as Kekumbulu today. According to my ancestors, Kikumbulu span from the river Kiboko up the confluence of Rongo River, straight to the apex of Chulu, down to where that straight line meets uh, Mutito River, and upwards where Mutito River meets at the river, and northwards where Mutito River meets at the river. At Osomu, allow me to speak. Because I don't speak, you may never know this truth. You know? We, as indigenous people, are very different from you. We actually have our very distinct dialects. You know, when civilization came with the right, with the, with the white man, I am not complaining about what you did, but you ran with the, with the civilization, with the Western civilization. And when Christianity and religion was brought, you ran faster than those who brought the religion. And we did not know why you were running. We chose to remain with Mulungu and to do the things that our ancestors has told us. That is why you call us primitive. But I give you the opportunity to call us primitive because if that is your definition of primitivity, I am proud to be primitive. Allow me to speak. Because it is important for you to know the tragedy of the Anguilla people dates back in the year 1936 when the imperial, when, when the British colonial government assigned Sir Maurice Carter to go and traverse the entire East African British protectorate, scouting for potential viable parcels of land for exclusive European occupation. <clears throat> Will you let me speak? When Samoris Kata Commission identified our ancestral land, what he saw good, he wanted to create a royal game reserve for trophy hunting. I wonder how many of you know what trophy hunting is. Trophy hunting is the indiscriminate killing of wild animals. So that you get marks, you get applauded for killing even what you don't eat. But me, the Mongolia, who only took what I required to go and take it to my nursing wife, I was called a butcher, 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 trophy hunter. I see that science. I will speak because this is an opportunity for me to tell you the truth. And as if that was not enough, enough torture for the Angulia people, they embarked on a very systematic, a very systematic process of identity theft. They changed all the names from our ancestral land, all the landmarks in our land, changed their names. Do you know that Kitaja Nunu is now Kitaj? Do you know that Mudima is now Muzima? Do you know that Kibwese is now Kibwese? Do you know that Maimo is now Satani Klaba? Do you know they call Motito Andei Mutito Andei? Now, I want you to go and Google how they are calling children. It is here. C-H-Y. In Akamba phonology, we do not have anything like that. If, my good people, if you don't listen to the story that the Crown Prince is going to tell you, very soon they are going to come and tell us that Tulu does not belong to us because that, that word does not speak. That is not Kamba phonology. I will speak 
Because if I don't speak, you will never see the seriousness in my words. And I so badly want you to give me the opportunity to speak about my people. Because if you don't give me the audience, very soon, you will talk about the Angulia people in the same breath where you talk about dinosaurs, human beings, or creatures that once upon a time walked the land. Will you let me speak? Yes. I have committed my life to speak about the Angulia people. And I am only requesting all the stakeholders, the county government, and the beautiful people of Magical Kenya, and all the tours and hotels and the stakeholders here, please walk this journey with me. I would like to institutionalize, I would like to establish an institution, an institution that houses, that houses the, 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 the indigenous knowledge and the, and the cultural heritage of Yangulia. I would like to have a cultural center where you can walk in and see our cultural heritage, where you can see Zebo, where you can see Bilo, where you can see Moi. Yes, you are saying that because someone told you it was evil, according to me. When you are buying, when you are installing your houses with CCTV cameras to protect your, 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 your property, I don't do that. I have got bingo. You can't touch anything in my compound. <laughs> when you are doing so many things, when you are going to court and looking for redress and everything, I have got zero. But you see, I will forgive you if you think I am backward, if you think I am barbaric, if you think I am uncivilized. That is my culture, and forever I will never run away from it. I envisage to have a cultural center that houses the indigenous knowledge of the Angulia people. I envisage a place where I can call a museum, where I can put all the artifacts that are soon going to be forgiven. Can I ask you a question? Have you heard about what they call the man eaters of Sabo? Do you think those are, those are lions? They are not animals. They are not lions. Those are my cousins. I know them by name. <laughs> I envisage to have a museum where with your support I can, I can repatriate my brothers back to Sabo so that their spirits can unite with their bodies. What are my brothers doing in Illinois? What are they doing in America where well, they can still come back home? Please let me speak. I speak with a lot of bitterness, but allow me to give you a smile. <coughs> Perhaps this can give me the energy, not to continue, but to pass the, pass, pass the information. My good people, I don't envy you, and I don't wish to be like you. I know I am scantily dressed, but this is who I am. I will accept you to live your life, but please, even if you don't want to support me, please give me space to be the Mongolia I am. I am the crown prince of the Angolia kingdom, unapologetic. Committed and devoted to the spirit of some. Thank you. Oh.